Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can specify a certain value for different platforms. So, if I wanna specify a certain value for Android or iOS, and make the Marian share the same code for all these platforms, these different platforms, but for each specific case, let's say an Android, I want to do this or I want to show this. In iOS, I want to do that. ETC. So now let's go down first thing first. Let me explain a bit about the project. If you have seen a tutorial before, let me open the app now. In the app, after creating a Zamarian form app, okay. In the app, we created a new class of main page, and that main page will inherit from content page and it will take a constructor. So we can here place our that our children. So now let's start by going to this main page right here now let me show you the method we will call when we want to specify a platform specific code or let's say value so now let's say I want this page or our main page to have a certain uh, width and height or padding okay so now let me go call this which is referring to our main page okay and let me call padding okay now let's specify a new thickness okay and now let's open this now we will take yes this one this overload we will be using let's say I want five okay now uh, for the top I want it to be platform specific okay so what I'm going to do is call device on platform all right now this method is the method we will or let's say the Zamarian will call and use and check in which platform it is now on and then retain the corresponding value to it so now let me show you first let's say I want for Android I wanna turn the space from the top okay oh sorry let me go back and I want also let's say uh, oh I'm sorry iOS 10 was Android let's say I want 20 and for Windows phone I want 10 okay now let me show you the overload now look to the overload right here it's a generic overload okay so whatever value you place in here it will be generalized so let me show you as you can see it return an int okay if we want to return a string, it will see that our values inside this method are string and return string. So don't really worry. So it's not integer specific. You will see now how we can make it return string for every platform. But let me just finish this code. Okay. Uh, we want to say 5 and 0. All right. And let's put a semicolon. And that's it. Now, the thickness for every platform will be specified as you can see here 10 for the iOS 20 for the Android and 10 for the Windows phone now okay this is nice and everything but as we said earlier we want to see more something interactive like you see here I want this text to be returned let's say uh, welcome to Android Zamarian okay or welcome to let's say iOS the Marian etc so how I can achieve that using the on a platform let's go down here let me first copy this okay so here's the on a platform now this is what I'm going to specify I'm going to say welcome to Zamarian on Android oh no this is on I O S let me just add more spacing alright and now let's place here let's say welcome to say welcome to 
this one is Android and this one is actually Windows Phone all right and this is how you play in, or let's say place a value for every different platform in the Marian. really simple you just call this method and the Marian itself will check which platform it is on and retain the corresponding value also as you can see this is a generic method so it doesn't really matter you can place string integer you can place object of a class if you want let's say you want this uh, on a platform to return let me let me actually show you how let's add a class okay all right let's add a class and this class it's and this class will be public and we will call it uh, employee okay now after we add it let's make it uh, public okay now let's place some property okay I would like to say property uh, string employee name okay now let's place another property uh, let's make it uh, integer salary okay now let's go back to the main page okay now right here uh, let's uh, create an object of uh, employee okay we will call it employee okay now uh, let's make it equal to device on platform and you will see that we will return a specific employee object okay so now I, I'm creating uh, three objects for it uh, I will fill the name for the first one okay I'm gonna call it uh, iOS and give it uh, the salary attribute of a thousand all right okay now let's copy that uh, object couple of times okay And uh, let's uh, change the uh, employee name. All right, and as you can see, the on a platform method is a generic method, and also it was able to take the employee object and return it. So you can pass whatever class object whatever value you want you are not limited to values you can also pass objects of a class all right so i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial if you would like to receive more updates please subscribe with our channel and also there is a link for our website so you can join our mailing list and you will get instantly a free udemy course thank you for watching